Hundreds of people rallied today in the city against President Biden's executive order restricting the amount of asylum seekers who come into the country. As CBS 2's Jennifer Bissaram reports, while demonstrators say it's an attack on migrants, others say the president's executive order is necessary. We are more. We are more. Over 200 day laborers and low wage workers, many of them migrants, danced and rallied in Manhattan's Herald Square Thursday around a giant shipping container they say is a symbol of the border wall. Somos mas. We are more. That's what we are hearing. From the taxi drivers to the laborers putting the blocks on every building we see here in this country, we say we are more. It comes after President Joe Biden's executive action this week significantly restricting asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border, temporarily closing it if a daily average of 25 500 is met. Four years ago, when he was running for president, he said he was going to support the immigrant community. The immigrant community is under attack by both parties. Earlier Thursday at City Hall, city, state, and federal officials introduced legislation to repeal sanctuary city status. They say will address public safety concerns. They also waited on the border executive order. A little too late. I mean, after millions have gotten through, um, it's a positive step. However, uh, we have a, a lot of work to do to deal with the people that we have here who are committing crimes. The border should be shut. Joe Biden should have done this on day one. Back at Herald Square. There is no United States of America without the day laborers, without the nannies, without the doctors, without the teachers, without us. Sandy came. It was undocumented day laborers who went and they helped rebuild the city. When it was COVID-19, it was undocumented community members as well as minority that came kept this city running. In Herald Square, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.